lab guy here. I went to the De Anza College flea market this morning, an electronics flea market in, I guess, Cupertino, California, San Jose for all practical purposes, and I obtained this nice lens for five dollars. And simultaneously, there was a Sony AVC 1400 attached to it. So, whether the camera works or not doesn't matter. The lens was worth five dollars. And got a nice lens. So, the AVC 1400 is a small camera that Sony made to use with low-end video tape recorders in the 70s. And it came in a little kit with a microphone and a bag and a power supply that powered the camera head, this is a camera head, through the coax cable. The way they did this, it's pretty simple actually, is the DC power is sent straight up the coax and it's isolated at both ends by an inductor in series with it, a big series inductor, which has no resistance to DC but will block the video signal. And then the video signal is coupled onto the coax through a big capacitor. And at the other end, it's pulled off the coax with another capacitor. And I believe it simply connects to the output, though it may have a buffer transistor. Doesn't matter. When you find these, this is the typical way you find it no power pack. So I'm going to show you today how to convert this camera to run on external 12 volts and it will operate just fine because otherwise than the power it is a complete ready to go black and white Viticon tube camera. So let's get started. First thing you do take off the lens. Save that you'll need it later. take the screws out of the top and I see some kind person has been good enough to take one out for me so that it saved me some labor. Very nice. Take off the top. The innards are wrapped in a nice tin can. That's a good sign. Flip it over. Take two screws out of the bottom. I just loosen them. On this side there's a thermistor wrapped in tape and it's fed through two solid holes in the can on this side. We're not going to take this side off. But before we can get into it, we have to take the front off. I'm going to just take those out. found a washer. Bonus. Okay, so now we have a little tin can TV camera, UHF connector, So we have the connector coming in, and I don't know if it's visible, but there's a brown wire connected directly to the center pin of the jack, and this capacitor right here is connected to the center pin of the jack. The brown wire is the 12 volts DC, and the capacitor is AC coupling the video signal. We just leave him where he is and we are going to cut the brown wire right at the back side of this connector. Don't cut the lead going to the capacitor. Now, 
we find out together whether this camera works. So, I'll turn on my TV monitor. I need an adapter. I'm going to adapt from UHF to BNC. There we go. I have to put the lens on. And then we can hook up the video output to the monitor. All right, so now we hook up 12 volts, plus 12 volts to the brown wire. And the um, ground to ground, I'm going to pick it up on this capacitor tied to the yoke. And we'll set the camera up right. And point it where there's something up so there's something to see and hit the switch. Alright, about 200 milliamps. Not bad. We'll see if the if it warms up. Boy, this tube warms up real slow. Okay, it's making a picture. This is a this lens is effectively telephoto. I'll see if I have a wider lens. Twelve and a half millimeter would get a better picture. Okay. <whistles> Waiting for the tube to warm up. Your results may vary. There it comes. I think I have too much light. So here we are looking at the actual video from the camera. Uh, it's the cluttered top of my workbench. It's got that nice Viticon look. It has a uh, good contrasty picture for low light. I notice this camera overloads easily too. So it's uh, plenty sensitive for indoor use. An excellent little consumer camera. Good job, Sony. So as you can see, the AVC 1400 is making a picture. That's how simple it is to convert the AVC 1400 to run on 12 volts DC. You just cut this brown wire loose from the center connector of the video jack attach it to 12 volts, attach ground to ground, bring your video out the back to your monitor, and it works.